Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nima. For those of you guys that are new here, if you're not, welcome back. First of all, I just wanna say, I feel like I have been missing for so long. I just realized it's almost been two weeks since I've uploaded and it doesn't even feel like that at all. And it's because I've just been all over the place. I've just been super go, go, go. I was just in Milan for a little bit and then I was in Washington. I still, I can't even remember. I think the jet lag is still all up in my soul. But anyways, hi, welcome. It's been a minute. How are you guys doing? Today I'm gonna to be doing a video that I have been wanting to do for a hot minute now. And actually one of you guys reminded me that I've been wanting to do this video for a minute. My face and my chest are two different colors. My face and my body technically. But if you're a black woman, your face, your chest, your knees, your ankles, everything is completely different color. This video I actually did a while back, it was one of my very first videos that I posted that actually did really good on my channel. I was terrified of filming this video, you guys. I was like so scared. Anthony had to like hype me up a little bit and be like, you got this, it's okay. Like so many people have this issue. So many people are in this situation that you're really, really gonna help them out. So I was like, okay, cool. Let's put it up, let's put it up. And the reaction to it was really good and a lot of you guys felt like it had some really good tips in there. There has been major shifts in the foundation world, my routine is completely different now. Like, completely different. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I get a match between these two different skin tones right here, my chest and my face, and how I make it look seamless. Make sure you are subscribed if you have not done so already. Make sure you turn on your notifications. I'm gonna go ahead and jump straight in. I'm gonna start off by just spraying my face down with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I've actually been using this for a couple weeks now. I actually really, really like it, and it feels like it's kind of pepperminty, and it's got like a pepperminty like scent to it. But what I like about it is it says, visibly smooths features and tightens the appearance of pores, providing a burst of radiance in the complexion. I personally really like it because I do notice the tightening or the smoothing that it does. It kind of reminds me of my skin volumizing serum from Bare Minerals. It's really good. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a little Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. It gives your skin like a nice little glow. And it feels really good. It's this one right here. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of primer and then some eye cream. I go heavy on my eye cream because I just need it. I've been getting like that deep set right here, which is really irritating. I've been getting worse, which is really irritating my soul. So I go in heavy on eye cream so I can pack in on a little bit more powder. And this is the Kiehl's Youth Dose Eye Treatment. And this is what the eye cream looks like. Next I'm gonna do is just a little bit of color correction. So I'm gonna use the Live Tinted Q stick, really good friend of mine named Dipika. She is honestly so sweet. She's the sweetest person. I feel like she's one of the nicest people in this industry. She's one of the first people that I've met when I first started going on like trips and stuff. And she was so nice and so helpful. She gave me so much advice. And so I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of you, girl. So I'm gonna use the shade Origin, which is this really deep red shade. And I'm just gonna pop that right around here and here. And then just take some underneath my eye just to help cancel out some of that redness. And this stick is multi-use, like you can use it as lipstick, blush, and all that good stuff. I've just been using it as color corrector, so we'll see what it looks like today is like maybe like a lipstick or a blush or something like that. I'm just taking my foundation brush and I'm just gonna blend that out. Let's take this up a little higher, like right here. This is such a pretty color corrector for dark skin. I love it. Okay, and then we're gonna go into foundation. So the first thing that has definitely changed a lot in my routine to match my face and my chest, oh my God, I almost showed it all, showed all the goods. Now, instead of found, matching my foundation to my chest like I used to, I now match my foundation to my face. And I know it's gonna look a little crazy because then you're not really matching anything right now, but it will come together, I promise you. But I start off with matching my foundation to my face and I'm using the Pure Love Your Selfie, the 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. I'm just gonna take a little bit. The reason why it changed too is because back then there weren't foundations to match my face. Like there really wasn't. And that was just a few short three years ago. And now we've got some options. We've got at least two options. One higher medium end ish and then one drugstore ish. The drugstore one is the L'Oreal True Match in C12. That's a really good one. And then this one, of course. Out of every foundation so far, these two have been like the one that matches my face really, really good. I'm just gonna blend that out. I'm just using my foundation brush. Sometimes I put too much foundation and I look 
crazy trying to blend it all in. The only weird thing about this foundation that I've noticed is it dries a little funny, just a little bit. And I do go ahead and take that down to my neck as well and see how my face is still a little bit darker than the rest of my body. That is absolutely okay for the moment. The reason why I like matching to my face better than to match to my chest is transfer. I feel like I touch my face way too much throughout the day. I know you're not supposed to, but I have a runny nose. My nose is prone to being runny. My eyes are prone to being watery. So when I touch it, the transfer, then you have like patches. Since it's such a good match to my face, it is a lot less patchy and it doesn't show that skin underneath my face. When I used to match to my chest, if I touched my face like that, you would see the skin tone on my face coming through. And then you guys will see how I just balance everything out in here in a second. I told you guys, I'm in love with this spray. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Make sure that foundation is nice and blended. And then putting the spray on there really also helps with like adding more of that skin smoothing situation to it. I like the way that that looks. It looks really good. Then I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in ganache i'm using this shade and a part of the reason also why i didn't use to match to my face not only because there wasn't products that didn't match my face but also because concealer was going to be a problem on top of that there really wasn't many concealers that were even close enough to do what this ganache shade is doing right now which is giving me a good amount of highlight but not without without going too bright underneath my eyes literally it was just a lack of shades let's be real see i'm already touching my face I'm already itchy. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this concealer. I don't like to take it too far out. It's gonna give you that nice light in the center of your face, outside of your face. Obviously, since it's a darker, it's gonna give you that contoured effect, dimensional effect, I guess. I definitely try not to go too far out right here because then you're just defeated the whole purpose of matching to your face. <laughs> blend out that harsh line. Getting something, we're already getting somewhere. I'm supposed to go to cycle in 30 minutes. Is that happening? Clearly not. Actually, in 20 minutes, that's not happening. And then also, I don't like to go too far out because then it makes your face look wider, all that nonsense. So if you have a wider face and you wanna narrow it, try and keep your concealer like around here area and not here, because then it's just gonna make your face look wider. And then we're just gonna blend out the forehead. That color corrector is always so nice. Now, if you like this look, which I actually personally like, I don't like an overly highlighted Face. You can stop here with concealer. I'm gonna go in just a little bit lighter just for those of us that do like a little bit more brightness underneath the eyes. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Makeup Forever concealer in the shade C16. I'm just gonna put like a dot right here. Also make sure it's your undertone. I promise you, if it's not, you will look gray and you will regret it and hate it. It has to be your undertone. Whatever the undertone is on your face, you wanna make sure it's the same undertone when you go to concealer, when you go to brighten underneath your eyes, when you go to powder, you just wanna make sure you're sticking in the same undertone family because it will throw off your face. It will throw off your entire face. And this would probably like not even that bright to you guys. You guys are probably like, but that's just, that's just me. I know what I like and I like um, the more subtle looks. I like the way that that looks. So next I'm going to use powder. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way powder in the shade Translucent Deep. Super translucent, really good for dark skin tones. I feel like these kinds of routines, especially for me, are gonna always be ever changing because there's definitely room for growth in a lot of the product world. And it just literally melts. It looks so, good underneath my eyes. As products are being brought out, my standards definitely keep raising and people will be like, oh no, well this worked for you so and so when it came out. Yeah, that's because this hadn't came out yet and that's because this hadn't came out yet. People forget that we are working at a deficit and the goal is to have products that actually work, not making products work. And people forget that. So when I'm like, okay, no, it's no longer a favorite of mine. It's no longer something I'm settling for. You know, people will be like, oh my God, what more do you want? Why are you being so picky? Why are you being this? Stop. You have not had to work at a deficit. We have, and this is why our standards keep raising and they will keep raising until we have everything that we need. Three years ago, when I had the L'Oreal True Match in C12, you can look back to how um, I was making it, how I was making those products work. What was working three years ago just is not gonna be working this year in 2019. Like we're making changes, we're making moves. I think people just think that we just have to settle. No, you don't have to settle. If I was settling, I would not be doing a redo of this video and using completely new techniques. Seamless. It just looks so good. It looks so smooth. 
that's kind of like my first layer of the highlighting powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my Dior Forever and Ever Shine Control Powder. It's literally translucent, but it gives you this amazing glow. It's, I know it's coming off really crazy right now. I've gotta find a better way to use this little applicator. It's like a little sifter thing in here and just can't stand it, but I gotta figure out a better way. But look at that. It just sets it and it's done. Doesn't change the foundation. It just sets it. Smells amazing, but it just sets everything nice and smooth. Perfect, it literally looks perfect. But I'm gonna go ahead and bronze now using my Prime Beauty bronzer. Someone asked me to do a review on this and I'm like, I know y'all been seeing me using this like in ev almost every single video. <laughs> so I guess if you want like a full on review, not a full on review, but just like my thoughts on it, I am not obsessed with it. <laughs> It's okay. If it was like a few years back and I was matching to my chest, yes, I would be all over this, like obsessed. But I'm not and I feel like it just could go a little bit deeper. That's just my opinion though. I am gonna come back to my under eyes because they do need a lot more powder than they have right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down again. So I just did my eyebrows and put on some lashes off camera. Um, I didn't really, I didn't do anything to my eyes. <laughs> Literally, there's no eyeshadow on my eyes, which is okay. This video is all about the face today. Am I losing a lash already? You just got on my face. How are you already trying to lift? So the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how I just add a little bit more brightness underneath here. Keep that creasing away, because I'm already creasing underneath my eyes. I'm just a creaser. I crease underneath my eyes. It's just, I can't, I can't help it. It's inevitable. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Powder, and I got dragged for not liking this powder. I still am not the biggest fan of the shades, and I still think it does make it a little bit drying, but for that specific area right here, I like it, because it does help with creasing. But I use the smallest amount, like the smallest amount. I'm literally just pressing that right into my under eyes. And it also adds like a little bit of brightness. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush, an even smaller brush, this little, this brush right here, it's very tiny. And I'm just gonna highlight parts of my face that I just feel like need a little bit of highlighting right here on my forehead. This just adds like a little bit more brightness if you're a fan of it without putting too much cream product on your face. Another powder that I like to use is the Pure Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It's this one right here. Mine's really nasty because I've been playing with it for too long, but I like to use it to reverse contour. It's translucent, so it can just dust away like that. Really like the way that that looks as a reverse contour. Other powders just cause too much of a gray cast and that general area and I just don't like it. And I don't let it sit there long. Like I'm already dusty nicked. Then we're just gonna take some mascara on the bottom lash line. I'm using the NYX On The Rise Volume Lift Scara. I really like this mascara. It's like not too clumpy underneath the bottom lash lines. Like it just looks really good on those bottom lashes. I'm gonna use this Estee Lauder Violetta palette. It's like a blush and highlight palette. I'm gonna use this shade right here for blush and then this shade right here for highlight. And I like to use the same brush that I contoured with to apply my blush. I just feel like it melts them together really well. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. I'm just Taking it out to the temples a little bit. I'm gonna layer that with just a little bit of shimmer on the apples of the cheeks with this NARS. This highlighter right here and this one right here. I'm gonna mix those two. Yeah, that's a good highlight. I met the cutest little girl this weekend and I asked her what her favorite step in her makeup routine was. And she was like, highlight? I was like, me too, sis. Me too. She was so sweet and so shy. It reminded me back when I was like growing up. I was such a shy little kid. That looks really good right there. For the nose, I have not been able to put this down. I feel like this is the most prettiest highlight for me to use on my nose and I just, I'm not going back. It's not happening. This is the e.l.f. Glow Gleam Beam. I'm just gonna pop that on my nose. It's just so subtle. It's like so subtle, but yet like popping. Like what? This is that e.l.f. highlighter. Take that to the brow bone. So they are two different shades, but this just looks amazing on my cheeks. I can't deal with that. One thing I've been doing lately is I've been tight lining my inner waterline, especially if I'm not doing like a crazy makeup look with this Artist Color pencil from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade Boundless Bisque. 
and I just like tight line underneath here because I don't use a white because white would just look crazy against my skin tone, especially on my waterline. It's like a cream shade and I'm just gonna, and it just kind of gives me that awake effect, but without that white glare ring color inside my waterline. Little tweaks every now and then that really help just elevate your makeup, especially for deeper skin tones. I'm just here moving along the journey with you guys and I'm sharing literally every single tip that I come up with, I'm sharing them all with you guys. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys have seen the white underneath there and it's looked crazy, but this is a this is it. I think that's it for highlight. I don't really want to do much more. So we're just gonna go into lipstick. Christian Dior, Rouge Dior in the shade Ultra Shock. I don't know if this lipstick is available anymore. It looks like a custom package. It might be from Christmas. I don't know, I've had the, I think I've had it for a while. But if it is, oof, yes. I was gonna put a gloss on top and now I don't want to, but I still think I am. I love gloss. Givenchy 402 Lip Maestro, and I think it's a gloss. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the center because it looks a little bit lighter than the lipstick. Oh, it's not a gloss, it's a lipstick. Ooh, but it feels good. I think that's the first time I've ever put on a lipstick and been like, that feels good. Juicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray one last time with the Caudalie. I hope I'm saying that name right because I've used it three times. That did get in my eyeball and I'm not happy about it. Okay, last little thing about matching is I have a tad bit of scarring on my chest. Not a tad bit, my chest scars super easily. I don't know why, I cannot stand it. But since we got a balance between the chest and the face, we don't wanna ruin that by spot concealing with the foundation that you used on your face. I used to do that and then I find that I'm like putting foundation all over. Let's say I spot conceal this one right here. I'm gonna use what I actually use now to spot conceal. But I'm gonna spot conceal with this and that. Now it's not the best match to my chest, but it's a very good close match. I'm gonna just cover that. And you see how I still have like that dark mark in that general area? That's because that's not the color of my chest. Like even if I try and go and blend it out, it's still kind of dark and it has like a little cast in that area. But if I go ahead and blend these in, those spots, you see, you can't really see anything. That's because it's a better match. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some glow body, body glow. I am obsessed with this stuff. That's pretty much it. Instead of what I was doing back then, making products work, finessing them, now it's just about having more and more products that actually work and that actually give me a better match so that I can refine and damn near perfect my makeup. So I'm really, really happy. This is basically my base routine, my everyday base routine, I love it. That's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, Join the family, hurry. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I will see you guys next time. Did I just film? I think I did. I haven't filmed in two weeks. Absolutely not. Wow, that's kind of crazy. It does not feel like that at all. That I'm back <laughs> and I'm about to add more gloss.